Today we are talking about Terror Rift. Terror Rift are a flop and that is not my opinion. That is what community is talking about. Let's go. Let's check this post out. But before that, this is just not one person talking about that. Terror Rift are flop. This patch is... You can look at the emoji and this person is not liking that. What in the actual Terror Rift? Everyone is talking about the same thing here. New patch feedback and uh, so on so forth so if we go read this person he actually ended up putting some time here writing this down and i think this is really good i will be sending this to the dev as well as a feedback but let's read into this person reddit post other play interfere with your progress in rifts the more play the slower it become 100 percent true other player in the area tag mobs you get no shot again true same with your group unless that has been fixed yesterday it was the case not to mention the lag everything said here is true so what now i do is just go off map i don't try and stay inside of the orange area i just go out of the orange area go kill monsters wherever i can find the elite that is a bit faster the only time I go back inside of the orange marked area is to find the tower and destroy that. If I am looking for material, I just go off map, not inside that orange area and kill whatever monsters I can. That is a bit quicker in my opinion. Drop rate of terror essences is incredibly bad for the amount of time put in. 100% agree with that as well. I would add even the eternal gear drop is not that great. Then terror rift a week average of three towers destroy i've been destroying three towers myself i don't think free to play or low spenders will be able to do that maybe two uh, at best if you are lucky yes if you are lucky mass 15 towers resulted in three terror essences some play probably average one or two hundred percent true towers per rift nonetheless is a terrible rng everything that has been said here i agree with that so my plan moving forward is just doing two of these towers every day there are 10 you can do in a week and so i will be myself only doing two a day i'm not gonna try and do all in the same day just not worth my time then use them to bounty or oblivion portal right or sell them for 400 platinum so what yes i would not recommend anyone selling them for 400 you might as well just keep saving them until they make some quality of life changes with the tenor gear which i will be talking about towards the end of this video well they are literally the same thing pretty much but in my opinion bounty is better opinion because it completes your bounties and get you a little more useless loot oh but what about empowered oblivion pillars who care the loot is still trash is empowered right nothing changes the rng on the new legendary scene the same trash and goblin that drop material gold we don't need that is true don't expect to get three attributes and four magic attributes item those are going to be like maybe have one person chance of dropping so most likely even the eternal gear is going to be trash and will get outdated really quick result all this work for one triple stat legendary with a skill and less magic properties no thanks some will argue it's fun yeah it was but wait until you have done this for four weeks you got your four five new legendary items or which are probably well trash and or will be replaced in two weeks and if we keep reading here we all know how quickly the items are replaced you finally get that sweet legendary item with the skill and may actually use and boom is overpowered two weeks later not to mention three four yeah with the rng and the amount of time described above you are out of your mind to try again maybe some of you had better luck or no something i don't know but after running the same scenario on four tunes i had the same exact result three essences from 10 terror rift to three towers downed per rift and the bounty portal resulted in one semi okay but useless for my build legendaries i did not count the free essences from the quest 
like I said, it's just not one player who is talking about the Terra Rift. There are a ton of posts here on Reddit. So definitely they need to make this a bit more rewarding or maybe reduce the time to 5 minutes. Reduce the time to 5 minutes, increase the density of the monsters. Everyone can go inside of solo scenarios. So they can kill a bit more monster, get faster materials so they can do more towers. I think that would be a lot more fun killing like so many monsters on the same spot and getting faster material and able to do maybe two three towers within five minutes i think that is going to be a bit more fun compared to 13 minutes that we have right now it is a bit too long and yes they will be bringing some more quality of life changes with the tenor gear with some more major update one of them is going to be you will be able to upgrade your tunnel gear increase its combat rating and so it will last with you for a really long time they cut out that with this major update because they want to bring some more changes with the next update and so we did not even end up getting a new story there is just one elite quest that is also not worth doing it is not a part of main story anyhow i'm signing off see you all in the next one later